we would go down as kids, and we used to play at the station on a Sunday because there were no trains running. And we, we'd put this bogey on the line. We could, four or five young lads could lift the frame and put it onto the four wheels. And we'd push it up the hill towards Ballinamore. And we'd get on and come, what we thought was doing 100 miles an hour back into the station. But we were caught once by Tom Joe Shandley, the, the, the uh, good store man. And he... <laughs> We never went back there again. But they also had fog signals, and he put them on the line that day when he saw us up the line. And when we came down, within, within maybe 100 yards of the station, we hit the first fog signal, boom. Two of the lads jumped off. We could have been killed. But eventually, my brother, my twin brother, Sean, he stayed on and said to Tom Joe when he got in, he said, I'm after, I took this off the lads up the line, he said. And I, I can't repeat what Tom said, but we never went back to that again. <laughs> oh, yeah, there, it's so many stories about that. We used to go down to the store to see if any stuff had come off the train for the shop. And we used to go in and annoy poor old Tom Joe Shandy. And, he st- and did the cigarettes come from players for the shop? No, they didn't come. And then <laughs> when we insist, are you sure? We'd be run out of the place. We had the poor man annoyed. But it was our playground. And one sm- small story I'm going to tell you. The fair days here were very big, and the train was a big part of that because the northern buyers came in, they bought their cattle, and the cattle were loaded on the train, brought on to Belturbet and onto the northern line. And uh, we had one cow, and we found out a small bit of land down where the hotel is now. And we were down at the station one day, a fair day, and they were loading cattle onto the train, and we spotted our cow. We were only about nine or ten at the time, being loaded onto the train, and we tried to stop it. Sure, we were ran out of the place. And we went back up bawling, crying to my father, and we said, our cow has gone on the train. I forgot to tell you, he said, we sold the cow. <laughs> i tell you what we used to do, old school. There was a lassie, and um, you made me go here and money owned. Down here at Prunkers, at McClendon, the mountain, at the station house. And we used to be waiting for the train. And we used to have a halfpenny. You remember the, 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 the old money, a halfpenny? Yeah. And two or three used to have a halfpenny. And when the train would be coming up to it, the, we used to wait for it. And we used to put the halfpenny on the rail. So we flattened out like a penny. And the following evening, we got a lollipop coming over my friends in the evening. Oh, that went down for ages and ages. But anyways, the, we, one evening, we, we hopped on the wagons. We said from... Um, I think John Gaffey was a long one, and you know who was. But there was a friend from Ballymore, and he was a, he, oh, he was a highwayman, Jim Cannery. So we used to, we, we used to get off at the Milan Road, which is a place, a place called the, the Bob. There's a bridge going across the river. But he flew up to the side in here, and he never had off. So we were going back down while he sit on, on the, 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 the wagons, but we were full of car, but he slowed down then for a way to get off, and, and he let his off then. So. Yeah. Oh, I used to be fearful in that. So there was, I remember, then on a Sunday, then below at Plunkers, the station house at Plunkers, four or five rooms, there was what they called a tram, it was like a, um, it was like a trailer w- with no sides on it, mm. and there were four wheels on it, and we should push it up to the siding, and four, we should let it go then, there was a fall down the whole way down to, Pl- down to Plunkers, and we were coming we come down with 40, 30, 40 miles an hour, and I couldn't have for ages, and we'd be still showing the end of the river. Every Sunday, we'd choose that. Well, I am to the train, to be a train going home down much later than going, but much later than this. Yeah. And I had no lights, you know. Yeah. And I had no lights, so that was locked out, along the road. And I, I, I mind I was coming from school one day, and I was not a hero in the four walls, it was important. This is a steam, they say, and uh, they say the sparks, if you see them at night when they be pulling, there were showers of sparks going up all the way up to the sky. And, and I they, thought, they were supposed to carry what they called spark arrestors for to keep down the sparks, but they used to do that because that used to affect the fire for to put up steam. And of course, that time a lot of houses probably had thatch, would it be? Oh, they were all thatched. Yeah. They were all, well, no, not all thatched, but they were nearly all thatched. And it would have been uh, any spark at all? And Ah, no, in dry weather. In dry weather, it would be. So that was it. Uh, and uh, and but I. The railway, 
there was old time drivers you see and they could go by here without without pulling you see pulling they could ease off the region going by here open it up did they get down a bit but there was young drivers ah that tear around there and they were they were te- opening it up and te- yeah, it testing it out. Uh, uh. And did you ever go on the narrow gauge when it was? I never did. Well, we wouldn't because if we go to Shambo, well, you wouldn't get on here. You'd have to go. No. Would you walk along the line into Drum Shambo or? Oh, if you were walking was at there all, another pass? If you were walking at all, you walked on the railway line. Yeah. You walked from steeper to steeper. Yeah. Uh, 